Good morning! My name is Susan Tapley and I am a designer with Chalk Couture. Today I have a really, really fun project to share with you. See my camera angle is a little bit wonky today. Um, but I have a super fun project that I've been planning for a little while. Um, so I'm super um, pumped to show you what this is going to be all about. So I know I posted some teasers about this and um, a little bit of backstory. My husband and I have been remodeling our bathroom. Good morning, Leslie. How are you? Let's see if I can see your comments in here if I find the right thingamabob. I don't know where it is. Um, yeah, it's not there. All right. So anyway, if I keep looking to the right, it's just because I'm looking at my computer and um, just to see if your comments and questions are coming through. But my husband and I are remodeling the bathroom and we had a new vanity delivered in this big giant pallet. <clears throat> Obviously it was in a box, but it was on top of his pallet. And he was like all ready to have a fire and burn it all up. But the creator in me said, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. We can do something with this. So this project was born from um, something that was going to be in the trash. So this is my trash to treasure version of a project today. So before I go any further, I just wanted to once again tell you about um, a bundle that I have going on this week only. Um, this offer ends on Friday, so you just have a couple more days, and I only have a couple of kits left. So uh, last Friday, I did this adorable little project called Sweet Summer, and it's a watermelon um, that I cut out on my scroll saw. Look, I still have all my fingers. Um, I know, I'm so corny. Uh, I cut this out on my scroll saw and made this project and I had so many people uh, message me and say that they loved it that I decided that I would uh, make them for you guys too. So let me move a little bit closer so you can see it. Oops, wrong way. I have to, have to remember that my camera angle I always go the opposite way of what I think I'm supposed to go. So um, this bundle includes everything that you need to complete this project. It comes with the watermelon, the box frame, the transfer, the chalks. The ribbon and even the adhesive to attach the watermelon to the board so this is what kind of what it'll look like all bundled up and um, I am happy to offer these for $40 the uh, transfer by the way is reusable so that you can make t-shirts and tote bags and other uh, projects with it it's super cute Father's Day's coming I'm sure you could come up with a really cute thing to do with it with that for that occasion um, but I have, I think I have four or five left. So if you are interested in one of these, please write a uh, bundle in the comments and I can either mail it to you or we can do a porch pickup if you're local to me. So there's my plug for watermelon. Um, this is called Sweet Summer Bundle. So let me know if this is something that you would like in your collection. So can't wait to get mine. Yep, I'm going to be ordering those on Friday, all of the transfers that we made. So okay. I wish I could uh, move my computer up here, but you're gonna see that I have a really big project. So I'm just gonna stand up and change my screen a little bit for you so you can see what I'm doing. And switch it over like this. So anyhow, I took that palette and I um, we, we, we knocked it all apart. There were loads and loads of nails in it. It was a little bit of a job. I'm gonna show you the back side of this and show you how junky it actually was. This is what the palette looked like and you can see there are nails in it and slivers and I'm just going to be super careful not to uh, get any stuck in my fingers. But this is what I started with and um, my husband and I cut the pieces. I think they're 24 inches. I can check that if you're interested and um, just kind of nailed a cross piece uh, across both ends so that it would have some stability and so that you can hang it. And then I painted the first part. I'm gonna to have to move my computer because I can see you guys talking to me, but it's too far away. There, that's better. Let me move this a little bit that way. Try not to knock my computer off. That's better though. So bad, I know, what's bad? <laughs> You're making me nervous here, Leslie. I'm being bad. So what I did was uh, after we got this all put together, I did lightly sand it and um, instead of painting it, I ragged it. And what that means is that I had white paint, actually this is the paint that I used in my bathroom on the shiplap, 
Um, you can use any white paint. It really doesn't matter what kind, what brand, if it's satin or smooth or whatever your finish is. But I just took a rag and I ragged it on. So if you look really closely, you can see that it is not a solid um, a solid paint job and that is exactly what I was looking for. Good morning, Timmy. So this um, project was ex actually inspired by another designer that I watched create a similar project um, last week. So. I am really excited. I, I hope that I can do uh, her demonstration justice because it was it was pretty cool and I hope you like it. So what I'm going to do um, before I get moving on this project, I am going to take my wax out before I forget because I am going to wax the surface so that my transfer doesn't stick to it too tightly. And the biggest um, challenge with doing something like this is making sure that the slivers from the wood don't get stuck on the back of my transfer. So. If I can get this open, I should have done this before I went live, but there we go. That's ready to go, but bef even before I do that, I'm going to distress this board just a little bit more using some distress ink and a dauber. So this is something that I've had around for a while. Um, you can pick it up pretty much in any hobby craft store. Ah, I broke my nail. Ouch. Sorry, got picky. Um, so it's actually Tim Holtz uh, Vintage Photo Ink, and I used it a lot for paper crafting, but you can also use it for this. So I'm going to stick my dauber in, it's kind of like a little thimble, and I'm just going to distress around the edges of this piece. I want this to look like a grubby old sign that might have been out in front of a store years and years ago. Uh, but I'm not trying to get something that's pristine and new looking. I want it to look old and grubby. That is the look I'm going for. So this is pretty simple to do. If you don't have a dauber, you can just run the pad along the edge. I just know how clumsy I am and I would rather <laughs> use the dauber. This is looking good, nice and grub grubby. So you can go as heavy or as light as you want. Of course, the more you use, the grubbier it will look. We're just kind of doing junky, uh, junky old wood here. I'm gonna go down each of the seams a little bit. I'm gonna feather that out so it's not perfect. You know, you don't want to stripe. When I go up, uh, when I go over this with the wax on top, it'll make it look even better. Yes. doesn't take too long to get this done. I'm just running it along in each edge of this. Kind of looks like it's been out in the, the wind and the dirt and outside for a long time. Actually, probably was because it was not a new palette. Obviously, the wood was very old and lots of splinters and slivers, but that's what I was looking for. So. Done. So I'm going to grab my wax now, put a light coat of wax all over this. Actually, I only need to do the top part of it because I'm not going to cover the whole thing um, with my transfer this time. There's going to be something different on the bottom. My hair is falling out. And this is just a light coat of Johnson's Paste Wax. You can pick this up at most grocery, hardware stores, Walmart, whatever. Most places carry it. It's very strong smelling, so if you're sensitive to smells, you might want to do this outdoors. So, sorry about my table wobble in here. Um, this is kind of blending in that ink that I just put on too, so it's not quite as apparent that it's there. Oh, I love it. The grubbier I make it, the more I like it. This me. I'm going to do the seams down here too, just a little bit. Even though my transfer will not be going here, I have something else that I put together for the bottom. Okay. There we go. Good enough. Now comes the fun part, chopping it all up and making it beautiful. Okay, so transfer that I'm using today is called... Um, See. Oh, make sure fresh prop fresh produce locally grown and this is a D size transfer so it's one of our bigger ones 
Um, so I might have to stand up a little bit just to make sure that this is in the right place. I have backed my camera up so that you could see my whole project. Um, so it looks a little bit different today, but hopefully that's okay. Well, good morning, everyone. If you are just popping in, please say hello and hit that S-H-A-R-E button. That means sprinkle. We're not supposed to say that S-H-A-R-E word on Facebook anymore, so I say sprinkle. So please share this with your, oop, I said it, share this with your friends so that they can learn about Chocolate Chore too. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this from the package, and as always, I'm very careful not to tear into my package because when I'm done with this transfer, I can wash it, dry it, and put it back on the carrier sheet that I'm going to talk about in a second, and you can use them over and over. So by putting them back in the envelope that they come in, um, that will keep them nice and safe and clean. So let's see, I'm just going to write on the back, lo uh, local, locally grown, fresh, I'm just going to write fresh produce, I guess, fresh produce. And I also, also put my initials on the back as well as the front. And you guys know the reason that I write on the back side of the transfer, first of all, is because I want to remember to um, return my transfer to the shiny side of the carrier sheet, not the dull side. This is the dull side of the paper. And if you reattach your transfer there, it could, it could stick to it a little bit too tightly if you stick to the wrong side. So you wanna be very careful of that. And I also put my initials on there so that I remember that this is my transfer in case I happen to loan it out. Or if I'm working with a group, then I'm sure that I get mine back. So you might notice that I just um, removed the transfer from the carrier sheet rather than removing the carrier sheet from the transfer. Oops, if you have a large transfer like this, you want to be really careful not to fold it in half. It happens sometimes, and sometimes it's a little tricky to undo it because the back side's super, super sticky. But this time I think I am not going to fuzz it um, because the surface that I'm using is very uh, uneven. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Hi Rose, welcome to my live this morning. So I'm just going to flip this over, trying not to attach it to itself, and find a nice happy spot. And this is where I told you I'm going to have to stand up a little bit <laughs> so that I can reach. I'm using kind of the top edge as a guide to where I want it. And I'm trying to get it pretty much in the center, like so. Looks like it needs to move just a smidge to the right. Hang in there with me. So, okay, let's go right about here. Maybe I'll just use the top. It's, the top edge is kind of straight, <laughs> kind of, yeah. It doesn't really matter if this one's perfect or not. So if you don't have palettes at home, don't worry about it. You can use this on one of our large chalkboards. We have some that are 18 by 18, and we have some that are 18 by 24. And for this one, I would actually, if you're gonna do all of what you're gonna see today, you might want the larger size, the 18 by 24. And I'll show you why in a little while. Okay, I'm getting this, rubbing this down nice and firm, <clears throat> trying to get all of the lumps and bumps out. Um, and as I said, my surface is very uneven, and I'm gonna be aware of the fact that I want to try to keep too much paste from going into the cracks. I think I'm going to um, take my thing out of here so you can just see what I'm doing rather than my face too. So I'm still here, but you can't see me. Hi, Robin. Welcome, welcome. So today I am simply going to be using black, uh, black velvet chalk paste <clears throat> for this project. And as always, when you first open your jar of paste, you want to give it a good, good stir and make sure that it's nice and smooth and about the consistency of cake batter. If you are a baker, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, some people like to say it should be about the consistency of Greek yogurt. However, I like cake batter better. Cake batter better. So I am using distilled water, just a little couple squirts in there because I want to thin this just a smidge because it feels more like brownie batter. How's that? <laughs> How's that for a description? Welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited about this project today. Hello, Cherie, welcome. I 
And yes, please hit that S-H-A-R-E tab and sprinkle the love with your friends and family. All right, uh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That looks pretty good, that's better. I want it to be able to smooth it pretty, pretty simply without fighting with a dry paste. All right, we are ready to go. So our chalk base, if you haven't used it before, is um, actually a creamy form of chalk. It goes on wet, dries hard in just a couple of minutes. Uh, if you are putting it on a solid surface, such as chalkboards, windows, metal, glass, um, you can easily wash it right off with water because it's water soluble. If you're gonna put it on something like this and it might be outside, um, you can also spray it with a sealer so that it will stay beautiful for years and years and years. Sprinkle, thank you, Miss Robin. Appreciate that. That is the best compliment you can give me. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to spread this chalk paste all over the design. Um, I might do part of it, a, a, a section of it at a time and then pull it back, let it dry. It's called the paste and pull method. And if you are like me and you are not the fastest chalker in the world, this is probably the way that you'd want to do it too. Good morning, Janice. How are you? So I'm just going to grab some of my black paste and start at the top. And I'm just smoothing it over the design. So there is actually a screen that runs through all of the open areas that you see here. And it's a silk screen. And that is what gives all of our um, transfers and our designs all the details that you see. So I'm going to be aware that because there are large um, kind of gaps in, this, in the surface that I'm using, I'm going to try not to plop too much paste in those areas because you can get like puddling. So just be aware of that. I'm just kind of doing a thin coat over this part and then I'm going to pull it and just let it set for a second. Beautiful already, isn't it? <laughs> This is going to be so pretty. I've been like dreaming about finishing this since I've been uh, working with the palette. My husband thinks I'm out of my mind. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to squeegee off all of the excess, and I'm kind of going with the with the grain of the wood with um, the way that I'm scraping it off, and now keep it from filling up those little divots huh, between the wood, uh, between the slats. Sorry. I can't talk and chew gum at the same time, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna pull this back. Say a little prayer, yeah. Oh yeah. Woohoo, this is what I was going for. All right, so far so good. Hi Jessica, welcome, welcome. Hi Kaylee, how are you today, honey? All right, so here we go. This looks great. I'm just gonna let it say hello for a second. I'm not letting it dry and I'm not gonna dry it with my uh, dryer. I could, but I'm just gonna like let it sit for a second while we chit chat. What's new, J uh, Jessica? How are you doing? I see you have a graduate in your house. That's wonderful. I'm gonna let this fall back nice and light. I'm not putting any pressure on that at all. But I'm gonna go back and rub down the areas that lifted just a smidge when I was uh, pulling that. So yeah, of course I got chalk on my fingers. Chalky fingers, what's new? Yesterday I had inky fingers. No big deal. Okay, so back in with the black and I'm gonna do locally moving just a little bit you hear these little snap crackle and pops but you know it's okay um, if it's not perfect because I'm not really going for perfect I'm wanting that grubby old sign look so I have something really fun to add to the bottom of this piece after I'm done chalking it so you're gonna want to stay with me it's all I could do not to assemble this without you guys the other day because I get so excited about what I want to do with it Okay, I'm gonna scoop it up again and we'll peel it back as we did before. It's all gonna start taking shape. 
pretty soon. Okay, just gonna again peel it back and peel and pull, paste and pull. There we go. Nice. Doesn't this look like it should be on on the like a side of an old store or something? At the lake today. That's awesome. I don't know about you guys, but it is darn cold here today. Um, and I put my heat on. I'll admit it. It's June and I put my heat on this morning. It was 63 degrees when I got out of bed. Yeah, I am not a cold weather person. Okay. I think this is looking so good. I'm so excited. Let that fall back. Again, nice and light. I'm not putting any pressure on it whatsoever. And I'm going to go back in and just kind of rub down the next section. I'll probably do this in four sections. I'm good. Hello, hello. Freezing. I know. Woo! I bet you're not swimming in that lake today, Miss Jessica. All right. Let's see. I think I'll do just about a couple of inches down this way. doesn't rub down real well, so let's see how it goes. I missed a spot. So I've been um, doing a lot of like antiquing. I made a mirror from my bathroom. I don't know if you saw the picture of that, but um, I learned some um, techniques to make things look old, which came out so beautiful. I just, I'm so thrilled with the way it worked out. I saw. I saw a mirror that I really loved online and I was like, I am not going to pay that much money for a mirror. So my poor husband, I make him build me things and he built me a frame and we framed the mirror that used to be in our bathroom and it came out beautiful. All right, let's peel this one back. Ah, See all the little pieces of wood stuck to the transfer. Hopefully that'll come right off when I wash it. Yay! This is an awesome transfer, Timmy. Oh my gosh. By the way, if you any of you guys want one of these, I do have one available in stock. That if you're local, I can do a porch pickup or it can also be ordered on my website and I will splash that across my screen in just a minute. You can order it from there as well. Um, and we can ship it right to you. So nice. Okay. All right, the last section we're gonna do is this bottom part. And I can show you what we're gonna do on the bottom. And my dog's scratching at the door. I keep it shut because she barks at anything that moves. And uh, yeah, she's loud. <laughs> there she goes. All right, we are almost done with this beauty. All right, so if you guys are watching and you have a certain design transfer that you would like to see me do or le learn a technique um, that maybe you haven't seen before, let me know and I will see what I can do to make that happen. Okay, it is covered now. Peel this all off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. Ta-da! Love, love, love it. I'm just going to attach my transfer to my table for now. And hit this with the dryer for just a minute. Let's see if I put it in. Of course not. Of course not. this 
heat. What I'm using is a heat tool. Let me put my face back in here so we can see each other. There we go. Okay, I'm back. Ah. Turn this on. And we'll dry this up a little bit. I love the way it looks. Love, love, love it. So what I'm using is a heat tool by Recollections. It's not something that I sell. However, you can pick it up at most. Actually, this one is from the store that starts with an M. That sells craft supplies. Um, it is a very high, intense heat. And you want to be very careful not to leave it in one spot for a long time because it will actually bubble your chalk. You can also burn your hands with it, so be super careful and keep it moving. I love this. So far, so good. Where do you see the next thing I'm going to add? So pretty. I haven't decided if I'm going to put this in my house or outside on my porch. I can't decide, but if I do decide to put it outside, I would definitely seal it. We have, um, you can go to a hardware store and pick up any can of spray sealer. I recommend the matte kind for our chalk. It makes it keep kind of that authentic chalky look. So there is that. So what do you think so far? You like it? Leslie likes it. Thank you, Leslie. All right, so now that that is done, I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna to add to this. So I move it back just a smidge. So the woman that I saw do it added something along the bottom and I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. But I was thinking about something seasonal and since it's summer, I got my handy dandy scroll saw out again and made some pumpkins to add to the bottom. And I painted these yesterday. I didn't think you guys would want to sit around watching me paint, <laughs> watching paint dry. So I painted these up yesterday. And um, one of the things that I did, I noticed, and I'm going to show you this one in particular, this little one right here. It's very, very bright and it doesn't look old like the rest of the sign does. So what I'm going to do, and I did it a little bit on these just to make sure it worked well and looked nice, is I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper back a little more. I might actually move this off the table for a moment. Fire with me. Oh, she's so pretty. Love, love, love it. Oh yeah, I gotta find a good spot for that. Pumpkins, yes. So my thought was that um, seasonally you could change what's on the board. So I started with watermelon because it's summer almost. Someday it's gonna be summer when it's warm again. And I just kind of lightly sanded the pieces. I did these two already. I'm putting a little bit more. Again, I'm trying to make them look like they're old and not new. Um, these I just used with used acrylic paint with. I'm not an artist by any means. Um, I think a five-year-old could paint these. So this one I have not distressed, and you can see the difference between the colors. And I wanted that old. Uh, worn look. So I'm just kind of lightly sanding these, especially the edges. You want to get those edges really good and make them look nice and grubby. You like the watermelon? Thank you. Yep, I, my plan is, Jessica, to make some pumpkins for the fall. You could also make apples. And what else could you put? Um, I'm trying to think of what you would put for winter. You really can't produce uh, snowflakes or but maybe Christmas trees. Yeah, I'm making a dusty mess and that's okay. The cost of being creative, right? So can you see how that dulled the color down a little bit? Made it a little more grubby. That's what I was going for. Guess I'll be vacuuming. Good morning, Miss Nancy. Thank you, Robin. So there we go. I've got that done. And again, I'm going to take that Distress Ink, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. That's my favorite color to use because uh, it kind of goes with everything. And I'm just rubbing it along the edges of my uh, watermelons. So it's starting to look older already. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. I've been so excited to show this product. Ooh, I don't know if you saw the, the base of it yet, but I'll pull that back out in just a minute in case you missed it. 
So uh, my other dilemma was how to attach it to the board and still be able to remove the um, whatever I have hanging on the bottom, the, the seasonal icon. I'm going a little heavier on this big guy here. No special talents required, folks. Just grub it up. All right. What do you think? Good enough? I'm not, I could keep going <laughs> because I could... I could grub this up forever. I think I will. I'm gonna add a little bit more. A little bright. You did miss it? Okay, I will be putting that the whole thing together on the table in just a minute. Yeah, let's get a little shadowing in between the the watermelon slices too. That defines them a little bit more. Alright, we got some grubby watermelon. Yay! Okay, all right, let me get the base of it back over here. I'm gonna put this baby together. Cover my chalk. All right, be right back. Let me get it right here. Oh, I can't wait for you to see this hanging up somewhere. It's so pretty. All right, here we go. Here's my board. These are my pallets. Pallet boards, absolutely free that um, we we got from our bathroom redo. I'm just gonna throw my website up here in case you guys wanna take a peek at that. Whoops, this transfer and many others. There you go, that is where you can find this and lots of other designs. So this is all pretty much dry and we have 3D command strips. Brilliant, I didn't even think of that. But here are my watermelons that go on this produce sign and I, oh my gosh, I'm looking at it in my camera angle and I love, love, love how this came out. So my thought on attaching these was, I like that idea, um, Leslie, and I might do that. Um, but I did buy some of these fastener dots, which are like Velcro pieces that I thought might work too, but I'm kind of liking the command strips. I don't know, I don't have any right now, but I'm gonna attach them with these. I can always pull them off later. It'll only make the sign a little bit grubbier, right? <laughs> yeah, Jessica, thank you. Did you get any pallets with your patio set that came in? Oh, thank you, Leslie, thank you. This was so much fun to make. I could barely sleep last night. I was so excited to come and do this for you guys live. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach um, a row of these across the back. Ooh, kind of a row and I can always pull them off and try the command strips I like that idea I do like that idea it just didn't occur to me and I'm not sure these are gonna stick well to the board either so it's all a big trial today we shall see more strength yeah that's that's a good idea so yep I got to cut out some pumpkins what can I do for winter what could I put on here for winter any ideas? Sticky, sticky. You made a flag. That's right, Jessica. I forgot about that. You did a flag. She's going to be cutting up her flag, though. No, don't do that. Oh, my gosh. They're so... I see pallets everywhere I go. They're not the easiest things to um, take apart. I will tell you that. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, it did. It worked. For winter, you can do winter squash, acorn. Oh. Oh, those would be, that's a good idea. All kinds of winter vegetables. Yeah, I like it. I was thinking Christmas trees, but it's like hand-picked. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this. This is so much fun. I will uh, for sure be posting a picture of this um, soon as I can take it <laughs> anyway let me move this down here okay so yeah let me move that again let me try that again okay there we go and I can see me hello again so I sure hope that you enjoyed this this project today it was so much fun 
Um, hopefully one day soon I will be opening my project workshops back up to you guys. I do miss you so much, all my local girls that come over to uh, do project workshops with me. I'm going to remind you one more time about my beautiful summer, look at, I have a theme going on here, my sweet summer uh, chalk bundles that I have available. I have four or five left. Um, and it includes the box frame, the watermelon slice that I cut all by myself, the transfer, the chalk, the adhesive, the ribbons, everything that you need to complete this project. If you would like one of those, just write a uh, bundle in the comments and I will definitely get in touch with you about getting one. Um, let's see, if you think what I do is fun and you would like to do the same as I do, this is what I do for a living. I craft and I share and it's so much fun. Um, please let me know right join in the comments and I will get you information about that too. Pine cones. Ooh. I like that. Pine cones would be cute. Snowmen. <laughs> yeah, I guess you don't grow snowballs. Snowflakes. I don't know how white would look on this. Well, I could figure that out, right? The black. Yeah, I could do it. Anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed today. I certainly did. I am so excited. I think this is one of my favorite projects I've ever, ever, ever made. And um, I'm excited to do something new tomorrow. So be sure to tune in like 10 o'clock as usual. And we will be creative again. Again, if you would like this transfer, um, right transfer of the day in the comments. I do have one in stock that I can mail right out to you right away or you can um, get them right on my website and I will put the link in the comments again for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.